the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you lord when judas had gone out from the upper room jesus said now is the son of man glorified and god is glorified in him if god is glorified in him god will also glorify him in himself and glorify him at once little children yet a little while i am with you a new commandment i give to you that you love one another just as i have loved you you also are to love one another by this all the people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another the gospel of the lord praise to you lord, lord jesus, jesus christ. christ please be seated my dear friends in jesus christ so we are in a journey journey towards pentecost it's 50 days so uh, today is the fifth sunday in easter so we are heading towards pentecost so during this time how the lord is guiding us the sunday of resurrection and uh, and then second sunday a divine mercy sunday where the lords are uh, showed his wounds and uh, gave them holy spirit and then also uh, then the pra- supremacy of peter where he asked peter do you love me more than others do because you have a greater mission you have a deeper mission because you are going to be the pope and uh, poor peter broken person my dear friends and uh, how the lord came to him a uh, river Th- uh, the sea of tiberius where and uh, he prepared breakfast and waiting at the show until he, they were coming to the sea show and after having meal a meal then only he asked do you love me more than others do because he had a mission he had a mission to take care of the sheep sheep of the lord my dear friends in that way today we are going a step further and uh, last sunday we spoke about good shepherd sunday and the lord said i am the good shepherd and uh, i i know my sheep and they know me so if you read if you can remember second reading book of revelation we, that's that sheep that lamb became the she- the, the shepherd so the role of the sheep and the shepherd are intertwined connected my dear friends because every sheep who is healed by the shepherd has a mission unto another sheep who is wounded so every sheep who listen to the shepherd has a calling to become another shepherd to another broken stranded lost wounded sheep so this is our calling that's that's exactly why lord has paid the ransom where you have to pay and he has shed the blood to redeem you not to have a cushy life not to have a life of cocoa garden or bed of rose rather you have a calling to love love by giving yourself completely what we call agape my dear friends when it comes to love the word love has many meanings so in greek love first form of love is eros we call word erotic comes from that word eros means sexual love so you desire something there's some kind of gratification satisfaction sexually so it should culminate in the marital bond so then we come to the next step filios filios means brotherly love there's no sexual inclination involved there 
But when it comes to agape, that is self-giving love. That is self-giving love, which we have to have power from above to break yourself and to give yourself to be at the service of the other person without expecting anything to just to just to sacrifice your life for that you need to have power from above without which you cannot do that's exactly why the lord is preparing us for the pentecost where holy spirit would fill our lives fill our hearts with his love in romans chapter 5 verse 5 you read carelessly and see holy spirit would fill us with that love because holy spirit god is love so holy spirit is the glue relationship the bridge between father and the son so the same spirit would connect us to the vine as the branches so that's exactly why the lord is inviting us today in the gospel when judas had left gone out from the upper room my dear friends so we we are in john in gospel john gospel where we find 21 chapters are there in john's gospel 21 chapters listen carefully and their first 12 chapters we call the book of signs you find a lot of miracles happen and uh, Lazarus was raised from dead and the paralytic person was healed and a cripple was healed and a blind was given sight multiplication of bread and walking on the Red Sea walking on the sea that's how and a lot of miracles with the signs he 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 had a he had an explanation but when it comes to 13th chapter it was the last supper of course the last supper was not explicitly explained there there after the meal he washed their feet that's how the last supper was explained because it is a eucharistic episode bread is taken broken and given so the very thing happened in John's sixth chapter, multiplication of bread, and then the Eucharistic episode was given. Whole chapter was about the Eucharist. So because it is completed there, John does not speak about Eucharist here, but rather Eucharistic life. Where after the meal, he, he took off the mantle, his garment, outer garment and wore a piece of cloth like a slave and he washed the feet of the disciples my dear friends you have to understand uh, in in jewish culture of course it was a they always walked they didn't have vehicles so when they walk in the rugged roads dust and sun scorching sun and it was difficult so rich well-to-do families when when a person, a visitor enters their place, they had a slave. Slave does not mean a servant. Servant has a value. He has a salary. But when it comes to a slave, they have just a number. Slave is like a good, a machine, born. No free will, no freedom. So master can use him in the way he wants completely it's just another commodity not a person so a, 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 a value of a slave in that time is 30 silver coins so see the connection judas sold jesus for 30 silver coins that's the price of a slave so a slave would wash the feet not the servant and now we find in 13th chapter jesus taking the mantle out the outer garment and he washes the feet of the disciples he became a slave and he said i have come not to be served i have come to serve master a servant will never be greater than the master but then i i'm showing you 
I'm giving you an example. You do what I have done. My dear friends, it's not easy to love like that. It's after the Last Supper. And Jesus clearly knew these people would go and betray me, deny me. They will leave me and run away from the very feet that he's going to wash. Yet he washed them. My dear friends, and think about the washing of the feet. He washed the souls. Feet are very vulnerable. Feet, it will get dirty again and again. Yet he touched the very weak part of our body, which is always dirty. And when he was washing the feet, Peter said, Lord, I don't allow you to touch me. Then Jesus said, if I don't wash you, there won't be any connection. So in a way, he was, he was washing the souls and cleaning their souls of their heart. Soul, the feet, soul of the feet and soul of your heart, soul of your life is connected, isn't it? And he's, he's, he's washing them. The Lord is saying, son, daughter, I have to wash you because you are dirty. I have to wash you with my blood. I have to wash you. In, 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 in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, if you read carefully, sin like crimson, red. And the Lord is asking the penitent to come and discuss. And I will wash them white as snow. The red crimson sin will be washed like white as snow with the red blood of the Lord. The lamb who was slain in every Passover, the lamb was slain as a ransom. And in this Passover, Jesus became the lamb and he, he shed his life, gave his life to wash the souls of the disciples. Because our souls are dirty, my dear friends. So after washing them, when Jesus went out, when Judas went out, I mean, everyone won't take it. If you are not receptive, if you, not, if you don't surrender your life, that sacrifice won't be effective in your life. Judas, symbolically, John speaks about the contrast between light and darkness, which is truth and truth and lie. He goes to the night. He goes to the darkness. And then he says, when Jesus had, Judas had gone out, now is the son of man glorified and God is glorified in him. What is this glory, my dear friends? How can that be Glory. I mean, Judas is going to betray him. How can that be glory? The whole disciples are going to leave him. How can that be glory? Glory, not in human sense. Glory in the Bible is different. There's meaning. When it comes to gold, glory, glory is where Jesus wanted to complete the will of the Father. That is one glory. And then the other glory, Jesus, passion, death and resurrection. That passion is glory. How the Lord is glorified. Another glory. We are human. Humankind is raised to divinity after pardoning their sins. That is another glory. So here the passion begins. That particular disciple goes out in darkness, into darkness, to betray the Lord. So with that betrayal, the passion of the Lord begins. And that is glory. And the Lord, the passion starts there. Jesus would know, they will all run away. Leave me. Abandon me and go away. Peter is going to deny me. And the whole crowd, those who ate, when they come in numbers, 5,000 were fed, and they would shout and say, kill him, crucify him. 
and it was a denial the creation is going to kill the creator and it was a terrible moment but then jesus is not stuck in that pain he with the spirit he can see the whole connection suffering death and resurrection the intertwined reality connected reality my dear friends that's exactly the meaning of the pain whatever you go through now if you take it separately only the pain without your connecting yourself to the will of the father without taking the pain from his hand without knowing realizing that i am completing his will i'm accomplishing his will that pain is a curse is a trauma there won't be any meaning that's exactly why in the second reading john saw a new heaven and new earth for the first heaven and the first earth is has passed away john is writing this particular epistle from the land the from the island of platmos and he sees this vision revelation is a vision and it is particularly to written it is written to a people who were persecuted persecuted start from nero a lot of symbolism is there new sun new earth and new sky new 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 heaven and new earth so what is created with adam and eve and the under that sun they fell into sin and trauma tears mourning agony catastrophe terrible pain and that that sun that heaven and earth is gone because the lord is saying he will wipe away every tear from their eyes that shall be no more neither shall they they be mourning no crying no pain no more for the former thing has passed away and he who was seated on the throne said behold i am making all things new jesus paid the price and it is my dear friends when it comes to new the lord is saying i am giving you a new commandment so you have to understand the bible properly when it comes to the word new it's not new in time my dear friends we in time we call neos latest new in chronologically it's new no that's not the meaning here new meaning kainos not neos rather kainos it is new in nature not in time that's kainos so the nature is going to take be changed new sun new earth new new sky new heaven new earth it's a new commandment the lord is saying you i will give you a new commandment and with that commandment heaven is going to change and earth is going to change when it comes to heaven you have to understand the word it's not heaven where the lord is the lord is uh, the presence of lord no heaven is sky what is above you on what you stand that's earth so the lord is going to change with love with agape love the way he loved them that stinking sheep the way he embraced them that lost sheep the way he went in search of them the broken sheep the way he healed them with his own wounds with the way he strengthened the strong without expecting anything without expecting anything my dear friends that's how he has loved you that's yes that's how he has loved you in in 1 john chapter 4 verse 19 it is said we love each other because he first loved us without that step without god coming down to the world and coming in search of my lost nature my broken nature my festering wound my broken crushed condemned nature he came and gave his life that's how he loved us 
loved me that's exactly why in 1 john chapter 4 verse 10 it is said when it comes to love it is not what it is not that we love god rather he has loved us and given his only son as a ransom in john chapter 3 verse 16 it is said god so loved the world and gave his only son so that we will believe in him and be saved my dear friends each and every morning you should experience this you have to be a broken sheep and we are in a broken land when it comes to sri lan when it comes to sri lanka i mean it's terrible isn't it people are so so crushed economically they don't know what to do they are hunger the they are going through a dire strait we feel sorry for them whole sri lan is weeping people are so pressurized they are robbing they are killing they the pressure is going out there's no control at all so we are in a broken land my dear friends politicians can't answer you we might get gas we might have petrol we might have diesel and yet no one can answer you go to that shepherd and he's saying i am going to renew i am going to give you a new heaven and new earth i am going to renew you so you are going to be my bride the second reading beautifully says now the son of man and beautifully says as i saw in the holy city new jerusalem coming down out of heaven from god prepared as bride adorned for her husband that bride is a church prepared for the bridegroom bridegroom is christ jesus so that complete union that deep bond that gives you joy that gives you new life my dear friends think about paul and barnabas especially paul who was saul saul became paul with a fall and how jesus became the shepherd and that broken person that pride is crushed when he fell from the horse back and he was he was done to dust and jesus gave him new life and he became a shepherd and now today we find paul and barnabas in 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 strange lands they were rejected by jews and they another door was open for the gentiles so they were preaching them preaching to them and strengthening them without expecting anything they are going here and there to one church and the other praying fasting appointing leaders making another shepherds helping them to be another shepherd in their flock because they were they were formed by the lord they became they are now good shepherds forming leaders in their churches some small communities to, for them to become another shepherd that's how it is passed down pass it on to another community but dear friends then they were saying encouraging them encouraging them saying through many tribulations we must enter the kingdom of god pain suffering going through mill is part of our life cross is our joy i mean we are not looking for life of hedonism where we want pleasure only no we are shepherds who has come to lay our life down there's no greater love other than your laying your life for your sheep for your friends that's how jesus loved us without expecting anything without keeping anything for himself to do the will of the father to please the father my dear friends that's joyful giving of yourself that is agape love that is agape love it's a beautiful calling to this sunday and we are in a, we have the perfect background for this strengthen your brother strengthen strengthen your sister and we need that be a good shepherd i mean not buy things no whatever you have to share you can share that's 
that's perfect but paul and barnabas they were strengthening their community with the word shepherd sheep relationship lies in the word mainly strongly connected with the word that's how they encourage them be with them we need a church which is sensitive when when the when the youth was beaten by political ulterior motive motives politics you know dirty politics church stood with them fathers and sisters they were in in with the people with the with the youth showing them that we are with you that sensitivity is beautiful isn't it so in our own way whatever you can do be another good shepherd to your brother love as i have loved you so every morning this is of course this is always connected every morning you experience his love in your prayer that's how he loves me and love as he has loved you if you find it difficult to love if you have a still harbor grudge that's the area where you have not experienced his love in your life my dear friends so go stop everything go to his bosom as the beloved disciple laid his head on his chest wait upon him listen to his heart listen to his heart and he will show you how he loves you come but me it's okay my son my daughter i love you experience that love and in with that love love the broken love the stinking love the lost sheep love the wounded love the condemned that's our calling today that's the new heaven new earth we are going to experience love one another as i have loved you finally he says but this all people will know that you are my disciples if you love if you have love for one another that's the sermon be a sermon rather preach a sermon you be a sermon your life is going to be a good news the way you love each other amen